So we have the complete assembly of uh, BFE setup and it's composed of um, basically five main modules. The first one is the aerosol column, which is made of the column itself, six centimeters by eight centimeters. The uh, column head, where the generator nozzle, the HEPA filter, and the liquid feed are all installed. And at the bottom of the column, we have the filter holder, where the mask material is placed inside it, supported by a uh, Teflon support. At the bottom of the setup, we have the uh, viable impactor, which is coupled with a um, special design attachment with O-rings on both sides. It sits on a uh, lab jack, which allows us to uh, uh, lift or lower the impactor without moving the column. On top of the, of the column, we have the syringe pump that will pump the, uh, the liquid into the nozzle. To the, to the right, we have the control unit that includes all the air pressure controls and the flow controls for both the impactor sampling as well as the uh, aerosol generation. Inside the, uh, the box, there is a filtration system for the system exhaust that first goes through a HEPA filter and then through a dryer, which is filled with dryerite, which can be regenerated in, a, in an oven to, uh, to be reused. And at the right is the vacuum pump that drives the whole setup. So basically the vacuum is applied to the box and then it goes through, um, um, through a switch, it's connected to the master controller inside this is the, um, the command um, screen display for the uh, master controller. And then you have everything which, which pertains to sampling and vacuum is 3 8 inch OD red uh, tubing. The green tubing, which is quarter inch OD, is for clean air that is supplied to the generator. And we have the uh, pressure control and the pressure gauge. The generator comes with a flow chart, so which relates the air pressure to the airflow. So the generator is controlled by simply dialing the air pressure that we want, and we achieve the flow that we want. And there is an indicator here to the right that actually shows up that there is flow for the uh, for the aerosol generator. So um, for a quick startup guide. Um, the first thing to be done is make sure that the control unit is connected to the vacuum pump as well as to the um, air compressor. And um, so we turn on compressed air and we adjust the pressure to achieve the flow that, that we want. About 30 psi in this case. Next, we turn on the pump and we turn on the mass flow controller, so we plug in the, the power adapter. We set the flow rate, which is going to be, the procedure is going to be written in the uh, English manual, but basically we press the set point button and then we can move left or right to select the digit that we want. And then when we are there, we move either up or down until we achieve the flow that we want. In this case, 28.3 liters per minute as required by the method. And then click set. So we are good to go. <clears throat> um, the first thing that we have to do before turning on sampling and aerosol generator would be to load the uh, agar plates into the stages and then put the uh, impactor and attach it to the column. The next one would be to prime the syringe pump so that the liquid travels all the way to the nozzle. And then once everything is ready, we turn the impactor sampling on. At this moment, the mass flow controller will adjust it to the set point, 
At this moment, the whole flow is coming from the HEPA filter. So basically, we just have clean, clean and fil filtered room air coming through. We, we press the start button at the uh, syringe pump. So now the syringe pump starts pumping at the predetermined feed rate into the nozzle. And at that moment, we turn the nebulizer flow and the ball shows that we do have flow for the nebulizer. And at this moment, we start counting two minutes, which is the generation time. At the end of the aerosol generation period, the first thing we shut down the aerosol generation. Then we turn off the flow for the impactor. And then we turn off, we turn off compressed air. As you see, the air pressure goes to zero. And then unplug the pump. So at this moment, the impactor has to be and, and you know stop the uh, the syringe pump liquid feed. At this moment, we can um, lower the jack and pull down the impactor, slide it out, remove the sampling line off of it. And then take the impactor to the um, to the incubator where you open the stages, take the plates out, and put that for incubation. So this is basically a quick startup guide for the test. This is it. Cut. Perfect.